almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountains Hi Grammars What are you doing here? <laughs> Your grandma tells me her grandson's some fancy environment lawyer down in Cincinnati. I am a corporate defense attorney. So? I defend chemical companies. Well, now you can defend me. How many did you lose? 190. 190 cows. You tell me nothing's wrong here. It's a small matter for a family friend. Help a guy who needs it. The farmer or you? That's chemicals, I'm telling you. I'm seeing documents I don't understand. They're hiding something. That chemical. What if you drank it? Drank it? It's like saying, what if I swallowed a tire? What if whatever's killing those cows is in the drinking water? At DuPont, better living through chemistry. It's our DNA. You need to tell me what in the hell's going on. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. You knew, still you did nothing. You want to flush your career down the toilet for some cow hand? You want to take everything that you know and turn it against an iconic American company, like an informant. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. They have all the money, all the firepower, and they'll use it. I know, I was one of them. Our government is captive to DuPont. They're trying to force you to make me stop. He was willing to risk his job, his family, for a stranger who needed his help. The system is rigged. They want us to think it'll protect us. Protect us. We do. People have called you a terrorist lawyer. How do you respond to that? Well, when I defended someone charged with rape, nobody called me a rapist. When I defended someone charged with murder, nobody dug around my backyard. But when someone's accused of terrorism, people like you seem to think that that's different. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11. Constitution doesn't have an asterisk at the end that says, terms and conditions apply. They kidnapped me from my home and brought me here with a bag on my head and chains around my body. What do they accuse you of? Three years, they charged me with nothing. Rough justice, that's what this administration wants. We are seeking the death penalty. What if you're wrong? What if you built this place, you abandoned all of your principles, all of your laws, and you were wrong? You need to tell me what happened to you. I can't defend you. My captors cannot forgive me for something that I've never done. Maybe he's guilty. Someone has to answer for the tower. Someone. Not just anyone. In Arabic, the word for free and the word for forgiveness is the same word. I want to forgive. This is how, even here, I can be free. Good morning, enjoy yourselves today. out of their homes. They're taking us all to the ghetto. Thousands of people are dying. The littlest of children. We have room. We could hide them. Bring as many as you can. All the terrible time you must have had. German troops come every morning. You can't make a sound. 
School. Ladies, let's go around the table and report who you are and why you're occupying a place that could have gone to a man. I'm Ruth Bader Ginsburg. My husband is in the second year class. And why are you here, Miss Ginsburg? To learn more about his work so I can be a more patient and understanding wife. <laughs> the law says women stay home, men go to work, but all people must be treated equally. You think you can change the country? You should look to her generation. They're taking to the streets. What if you got hurt or arrested? Mom, it's a rally, not a riot. I don't know where she gets her stubbornness. Can't imagine. Is it a crazy Discrimination job? on the basis of sex is legal. We need to right this wrong. Let's topple the whole damn system of discrimination. She thinks gender equality is a civil right? These laws are obstacles to our children's aspirations. If you lose, you will set the woman's movement back 10 years. You don't get to tell me when to quit. Get your emotions in check. You first. You've been ready for this your whole life. There is no aspect of the law at which you can be bested. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom. Your Honor. Here comes the change. My name is Christine Collins. On March 10th, my nine-year-old son, Walter Collins, disappeared. And a five-month investigation led to a boy being brought to Los Angeles from DeKalb, Illinois. The LAPD told me and all of you that this boy was my son. He was not my son. Is this Mrs. Christine Collins? Yes. I'm the pastor over at St. Paul's Presbyterian. I've made it my mission in life to bring to light all the things the LAPD wish none of us ever knew about. This police department does not tolerate dissent, and you are in a position to embarrass them, and they do not like it. I just want my son home. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Collins? You have stopped looking for my son! Why should we that be looking for someone we've already found? The mayor wants this to go away. You yeah. can't do this. You are to convey the prisoner to the Los Angeles County General Hospital Psychopathic Ward. <laughs> By signing this, you certify the police for right in sending you here for observation, and it absolves them of all responsibility. I won't sign that. Orderly! <laughs> what the hell have you done with Christine Collins? I know my son is out there. I can still feel him. Your son, unfortunately, would not be the first. But if you do it right, you may very well be the last. Your handling of the Christine Collins case has exposed this department to public ridicule. If the boy you brought back is not Walter Collins, then where the hell is he? I want my son back! I want my son back!
I love you. Say that again. You're under arrest for the murder of Roland Legrand. Got the wrong guy, pal. I was with her all night. Come on, let's go. Annette! This is a frame up. Hey, Poppy, I'm right. Got any money? Get some. Never escape without it. Louis Degas. Guy's a millionaire. Won't last long. You got a lot of eyes on you, my friend. For a little bit of that money you're carrying, I could keep you safe. Keep me alive. I'll underwrite any escape you care to arrange. Something tells me you can be quite savage. You are the property of the penal administration of French Guiana. There's no way off. There's always a way. I know many of you are thinking about escape. This is your best chance. Feel free to try whenever you like. I mean to go with you. There are two guardians who are always on duty. Bush, where the best thing that can happen to you is starvation. Or you could choose to see. What's it going for? That's my friend. Where the sharks are always on duty. If you manage to survive your first attempt, you'll get two years in solitary. Second attempt, you'll get a life sentence at Devil's Island. Strange things happen there. Especially to those who bring to hope. visited death row, I wasn't expecting to meet somebody the same age as me. From a neighborhood just like ours. Could have been me, mama. But what you're doing is gonna make a lot of people upset. You always taught me to fight for the people who need the help most. Your life is still meaningful, and I'm gonna do everything possible to keep them from taking it. You don't know what you're into down here in Alabama when you're guilty from the moment you're born. God. Mr. McMillan. We done here. Mr. McMillan, please. I was just about to give up when I got a call from a Harvard lawyer looking to start a legal center for inmates on death row. I was in before he even offered me the job. You the lawyer? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for driving all the way out here. Most lawyers barely make time to call. I can't believe you talked to all my people and said you're going to fight for me. I did. It mean a lot. If you go digging in those wounds, you're going to be making a lot of people very unhappy. When people care about a thing that much, they'll do anything to get what they want. When I first learned about all this, it was like looking at a river full of drowning people and not having any way of helping them. You ain't quit, Miss? No, sir. Each of us is more than the worst thing that we've ever done. I know what it's like to be in the shadows. my dad. He do nothing wrong. It's never too late for justice. You're the only one kid enough to fight for me. If we can look at ourselves closely, we can change this world for the better. We all need grace. We all need mercy. Amen. I got my truth back. You gave that to me. And ain't nobody gonna take that from us. You have to adopt the mentality of an Irish street cop. 
The world is a bad place. People are lazy morons. Minorities are criminals. Sex is sick but interesting. Ask yourself what would scare my grandmother or piss off my grandfather. And that's a Fox story. Oh, it makes so much sense. Women are everywhere. We're letting them play golf and tennis now. HR's on the phone because you called me a skirt. Yeah, it's, yeah. I gotta read that manual again. <laughs> the attitude off camera was even worse. You're a man hater. Learn to get along with the boys. You're sexy, but you're too much work. I have a whole list. Will other women come forward? You may have heard there was a dust-up involving yours truly and presidential contender Donald Trump. There was blood coming out of her eyes, blood coming out of her wherever. Oh my God, went. did he just accuse me of anger menstruating? Wait, am I going to be the story? No. No. I'm going to be the story. No. no. Nobody stops watching because of a conflict. They stop watching when there isn't one. I want to convince you that I belong on air, Mr. Ailes. I think I'd be freaking phenomenal on your network. I could pluck you out and move you to the front of the line. But I need to know that you're loyal. I need you to find a way to prove it. I'm the bad guy. You know why Ron just got that door blocking his office. Someone has to speak up. Someone has to get mad. Fox News star Gretchen Carlson dropped a major bombshell today. What is she doing? This could kill Fox News. We need everyone on Team Roger. Get it on. Put it on. These are the end times. You do understand I have to be above this, right? You know the entire country is talking about your period right now. So you're a tough guy, like you really rough guy. Just can't get enough guy, just always so puff. Sweetheart, this is an island of safety and truth. There's a man! Ready to go to war? Oh, yeah. I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? The Boston priests molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen, everybody's going to be interested in this. Obviously, the church will fight us very hard. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. Show me that it came from the top down. They'll try to silence anyone who speaks out. You leave me alone, you hear me, goddammit? 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. You're going to give me the names and the names of their victims. Are you threatening me? I was doing my job. Yeah, you and everyone else. I am here because I care. We're gonna tell this story. We're gonna tell it right. I can't believe you. I'm hoping we can keep this between us until we all get on the same page. Is that why we're here, to get on the same page? We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I'm not crazy. They control everything. This is not just Boston. This is a whole country. It's a whole world. They knew, and they let it happen. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. and God knows what. Get us up there, Harrison. We can't justify a space program that doesn't put anything in space. 
We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk. You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> We're putting a human into space. We bring him in too soon. He burns up on re-entry. I need math that doesn't yet exist. Find a mathematician before the Russians plant a flag on the damn moon. You have identification on me? NASA, sir. I had no idea they hired. Quite a few women working in the space program. You are now no different from each other. Space test group needs a computer. Catherine's a gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. I never had a color in here, but don't embarrass me. This wasn't emptied last night. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not the... Running you should be an engineer. I'm a Negro woman. I'm not going to entertain the impossible. I'm standing beneath a spaceship. We are living the impossible. Come on, Negro. The IBM data processing system. We have to know how to program it. Who like that? Like that. Get a girl. And that's John Glenn. What do you ladies do for NASA? Calculate your trajectories. Well, you can't get anywhere without the numbers. How could you be ogling these white men? It's equal rights. I have the right to see fine and ethical. NASA doesn't commission females for the engineer program. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, I would like to attend today's briefing. There is no protocol for women attending. They move the finish line. You all should be thankful you have jobs at all. I don't even know if I can keep up in that room. You're better with the numbers than anyone in there, Catherine. You've been gone for 300 hours. Felt like it to me, too. You're never where I need you to be. Where the hell do you go every day? The colored bathroom is a mile away. We all get to the peak together, we don't get there at all. More than 50 million people are watching this launch. John, the IBM is wrong. Let's get the girls to check the numbers. My gals are ready. We can do the work. Colonel Glenn. It's good to know NASA hasn't given up on good old-fashioned brain power. The Friendship 7 has experienced some sort of a malfunction. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. We're in the fight of our lives, people. Friendship 7, do you copy? Over. American people need champions to remind them what they're capable of. Jesse, you're the best. You're the fastest man on the earth. Who do we have here? I'm Jesse Owens. You're a natural. I don't trust naturals. I will say, you can run. Boy, oh boy, you can jump. What I want to know is, can you win? See what we got here. Had a problem, coach? I uh, know. You want me to do it again? Yeah. Jesse O has a new world record. You want to win a gold medal? Sure. You want to do it in Berlin? Mr. Owens, how can you justify taking part in Germany when there's so much discrimination here at home? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, where'd you boys think you're going? Just using the showers. Not until we're through, you're not. Jesse, you have a chance to strike a powerful blow. Under the Hitler regime, we must not go to these Olympic Games to show our solidarity with the oppressed people of Germany. You get a chance to be a part of history and you're gonna walk away from it? I got people looking at me for an example. I don't care about any of that! Yeah, well, you're white, Larry! You don't have to. People are counting on you. To do what? To get on over there to Berlin and beat those Nazis. You was put here to run. Don't listen to any of them. My deal ain't no black and white. There's only fast and slow. Nothing matters. Not color, not money, not even hate. Run in some type of direction, cause the people going nowhere are the ones that are flexing. I'm not trying to be a preacher, I was never a reverend, but I can take your ass to church and show you glimpses of heaven, you better. For those 10 seconds, you are completely free. Now he's just showing off. Let's get a new tape going. All right, Richard, here's what we're gonna do. We need a voice exemplar. I want you to say into this phone, 
There's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Richard, you're a national hero now. Thank you, sir. But I was just doing my job. You always look at the guy who found the bomb just like you always look at the guy who found the body. Jewel fits the profile of the lone bomber. A frustrated white man who is a police wannabe who seeks to become a hero. We're running it. You're a suspect. You don't talk. I talk. Say it. I don't talk. This might be the only way to clear your name. I want you to say there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Stop trying to be their best friend. I was raised to respect authority. Authorities are looking to eat you alive. There's a bomb in Centennial Park. We have 30 minutes. I'm sorry, what? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. The United States government and the media. I do want to help y'all. I'm law enforcement, too. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Did he do it? Richard Jewell is an innocent man. He's a hero. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. One more time, just a little louder. I report the facts. You've ruined this man's life. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Do a couple in a row. My son saved people's lives. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. You set that bomb. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I don't know how to protect you. It's like your client is guilty as hell. They want to fry you. You ready to start fighting back? Sorry, I'm late. <gasps> we didn't ever think you'd leave all Miss. It does take four years, Jolene. I got a job today, writing for the Jackson Journal. Great. You can write my obituary. Charlotte Phelan, dead. Her daughter, still single. This is dress look I made. I reckon when you finish it, won't. Thank you. She looked like a winning horse at the Kentucky Derby. I have drafted the Home Health Sanitation Initiative. The what? A bill that requires every white home to have a separate bathroom for the help. Maybe we should just build you a bathroom outside, Haley. Minnie? Hey, Abelene. Hey, Minnie. Mm-hmm. These women raise white children. We love them, and they love us, but they can't even use the toilets in our houses. Minnie, are you in there? You said to write about what disturbs me, particularly if it bothers no one else. I'd like to write something from the point of view of the help. I want to interview you. No maid is ever going to tell you the truth. That's a hell of a risk to take in Jackson, Mississippi. Courage isn't just about being brave. It's about overcoming fear and daring to do what is right for your fellow man. What changed your mind? God. And Miss Haley Holbrook. I'm gonna help with your stories. We all are. Y'all brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am, but you about to. It's quite scandalous. Sounds like Jackson, if you ask me. Abeline. Do I have plans for her? You are godless woman. We're going done in now. <laughs> <laughs>
Mrs. Take my car, please. Terry Donaldson, the fashion photographer. So how much you pay to take my picture? I'm usually the one who gets paid for the picture. We get this right, change your life. Why do we want to be a model? Being model is better than being cleaning lady. Can you walk? Yes, I walk a long way to Mogadishu. No, 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 that's hideous, hideous, hideous. Take them off. model everybody adores tell me about the day that changed your life if i tell you a story you guarantee me it'll be published i was the daughter of a little kid you think about home a lot if anything there's a proverb in my country whatever happens to the least of us has an effect on all of us let us try and change what that means to be a woman. A stranger.